it's Boy James on the Core, and welcome back to Pokemon Space World Crystal. I took a little bit of a week long hiatus <clears throat> due to the whole uh, COPPA thing. And um, I just say this I hope they add a general audience uh, option to it, because I'm pretty much that. I catered to both um, youngsters and oldsters like myself. <laughs> but you never know. That's all I want to say about it. But anyway. We are back in Johto, and I'm just still happy about the fact that I got a shiny on the team, Twilight. I know it's a male, and Twilight's a girl, but I don't care. It's purple, it's a shiny, we got it. And we also have Danny the Ekans, <clears throat> Volbear, which is my sweet little raspberry, Ditto my copycat, which by the way I found out does evolve into um, a Pokemon. I can't remember its name right now, but I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Rita the Pidgeotto. And Pudding the Puddy, which is like a little puppy. So we're here in Necrotique, finally. And for this I'm happy. Y'all you know I me, mean? I love the music for Ecutic City. It's beautiful, it's very relaxing. But my, ma my main favorite when it comes to music for Gen 2 happens to be the, uh, the park's theme. It's even better. But we're gonna take on the Kimono Girls first before we go take on our rival. And, uh, I've been getting ready... I've, al I've already finished Thanksgiving. And, um, I'm already getting ready for Yule. Are y'all- is, is anyone out there already getting ready for Yule, like, buying presents, going to, like, Walmart- Oh, hello! That's Beta Flareon, I like that! Uh, going to, like, Walmart, or, um, wherever, or just anywhere to do, like, your, uh, layaway shopping, because I'm already ready. about everything <coughs> with Amazon. At least a week before Thanksgiving, and um, for that I'm happy because I don't, whoa is that Beta Espeon? It's not purple. It's like gold yellow. I don't know how I feel about this because uh, I'm more used to the purple Espeon and then the shiny green Espeon. But yeah, yeah, I think these are Beta Sprite. So. But yeah, I already got my stuff done. Thanks to Amazon. <clears throat> I bought gifts for all three of the people that are here. Basically, my housemate, his father, and my housemate's girlfriend. So that's her own place over in Mayfield. But she comes over every weekend and she's awesome. We go thrift shopping together like what me and my mom used to do. And she wears this Hello Kitty onesie. Doesn't have a hood on it. It's just like... A little old and outdated, so I got her a uh, cute little Chi the Cat onesie. And I got my friend, uh, as in my housemate's father, pajamas. Final pajamas. <laughs> and uh, I got his son, aka my housemate, Shadow of the Colossus for his PS4. And hello, Umbreon! You don't look spooky at all! You look actually kind of cool! I stay through clenched teeth and try not to make a Black Panther joke, which it looks more like the Wakandan armor. Seriously, this thing looks like Marvel's Black Panther. It looks like what what would happen if you took an Umbreon, put it in Wakanda, and it evolved into this. That's what I gotta say about that. It's just like it's cool, but also it looks like it's wearing freaking armor. Huh? Oh, puppy evolving! The puppy is evolving! And it's a growlith. Look at the puppo! Look at the puppo! <clears throat> and don't worry, I am going to keep training up these Pokemon. I am just going to swap out to Twilight. 
and see if we can get him to evolve as well. Okay, next one has to be the Beta Vaporeon. I was right. It's a fish! It's a fish! And there's my shiny pony! <laughs> it's a shiny pony! Uh, once I hit run, I'll try to hit Pokemon so I can it to the Raspberry. Alright, now last one is the Beta Jolteon. Why do you look like- what would happen if somebody bred a Jolteon with a Heliosk? I kid you not, your neck spikes are a little too... Phew! Boing? Thank you, I will take that. Oh, that's a no-brainer. By the way, Sword and Shield has been out for about a week or so now. How are y'all enjoying the game so far? I've already beaten it. And I'm currently shiny hunting for a shiny snom. I want... I really want the Pokemon peeps to make a snom plushie. Like, I want it to be palm-sized snom cuddliness. Is a freaking ice baby. I want a snom to go along with my Mimikyu, my Sobble, my Pikachus. Just please, Game Freak, we need a snom plushie. I'd even be happy with a ditto snom. Or at least a ditto frost moth. <clears throat> hey, you seen what's up? Uh huh. What name is Sweet? By the way, that's the beta name of Sweet Queen. I'm Nakora. Yeah, uh, Sweet is the beta name of Sweet Queen. Wait, what? Poison Stone? What's a Poison Stone? Let's see here. Evolve well, certain kind of Pokemon. I wonder what it evolved. I'm actually curious. By the way, this game does have lag spikes in it, even if you have nothing open in the background. Just, it's got a few la lag spikes, but it's okay. But seriously, what's this poison stone ball? Coughing and wheezing? Maybe... Arbok into some sort of third evolution? Gods above, I have no idea. But just that is so neat. Was that the, the predecessor to maybe the Death Stone? If it is, I commend them. Maybe it evolves Haunter into Gengar. And then again, that evolves the trait. For the love of the Dark Room, I have no idea. I need to do some research. And speaking of the Dark Room... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, shut up, Dingle! <laughs> Dingle. <laughs> I still laugh at my choice of names. Aqua. Okay. Wait, uh, pack. Have it in here. Here we go. Oh, excuse me? I'm the one who kicked your butt! That means you're the wimp. And right to say that, I fall through the floor. Thanks a lot, Dangle! Says you! Go sit on a beedrill head nest! I was gonna say hive, but the other word that came to my mind was nest. 
Hello? And there you are! Boing 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 Hi there! Bye now! Hey you seen! You do that! I gotta go heal and now you're gonna take on Morty! Y'all wanna know something cool? What's this Twitter account I follow that, um... I think it's Dr. Lava? I can't remember his name? He shows off what the uh, Japan audience gets versus the Western audience when it comes to Pokemon. Oh, hold on a moment, I gotta do some shots. And he actually showed off some of the original betas, like what we've been checking out in the game. But he also revealed that, um... What was it? The trainers. The, uh, so the Sailors, the Hex Maniacs, and the Psychic were supposed to get, uh, different sprites. Along with the Sages and the, uh... Oh, oh wait. Oh! Here's the Pokemon I've been looking for! Where do I find you? It's a Voodoo doll! Oh my Gaia, I want you! It's literally a voodoo doll Pokemon! That's, a, that's one of the beta Pokemon that never made it to the game! Apparently it evolves into some sort of zombie! I need no work to find Kershaw, I want one! What's shiny Kershaw look like? I want one too! I don't care which- so like the mediums and the sages are supposed to get different sprites. But... Their, uh, sprites were changed at the last minute. But the, uh, Hex Maniacs were supposed to- Oh, hello! Dynabear! It's a big old ball of angry floof! And I love it! But no, uh, the Hex Maniacs had no eyes. <gasps> That's the evolved form, Pangshi! It's a zombie panda! But, um, the Hexmaniacs had no eyes, but they were given eyes in the Western release. And, uh, the, uh, the Sailors had the old style, uh, FU style arms. Like, had the one arm up, the hand clasped over, over the bicep, meaning screw you. They changed it to make it look not so vulgar. It's like with the, um, the Psychic. Their original sprites had the hands in front of their chest, but they modified it to make it not look like boobs. Ugh, I got burps. Sorry. I, uh, I had Thanksgiving leftovers and, uh, I got the burps from it. <laughs> but no, uh, the, the beta sprites as well for the, uh, the female trainers, like the lasses, not, no, 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 not lasses, because lasses are like the young, the young girls. I mean like the, um, the female trainers. Like what we fought over in, um, Whitney's Gym. They were originally supposed to have, like, cleavage. And right when I was talking, I beat Morty. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, they're supposed to have cleavage, and, um, I don't know what the other sprites are supposed to be. All I know is that the Japanese, uh, sprites were, uh, modified for the Western audience, as in the American audience, due to censorship laws. And people might be getting offended by it. I'm going, I'm going, come on! Women are supposed to look nice! Cleavage or no? Come on! I go heal. And the psychics. Come on, they look kind of neat, but hey. I gotta admit, they did look like, like, chesticles. 
but my personal favorite are the Hex Maniac sprites because they are kind of neat looking. So that's my take on it. <laughs> oh, look at the little Magnemite! Still the same as before, but still it's a little cuter. So I love the fact that you can actually shiny hunt in this game and it's going to be a little bit easier. That's the original Sunflora! It actually looks more like a sunflower. I hate how you can't escape either one. Doesn't even look like I care! I love Pikachu too, but I don't want to hear about it all the time! And I don't... Oh, I have a full heal. And I don't think I have a water-type Pokemon on my team right now. <laughs> Sir. None of them can learn it! How about you go suck on a tomato berry? I guess I'll put hoodie in you know putting in the PC for now and go catch a water type. I didn't think this through. Strength. Wait, I gotta find me a water type. I don't have a rod, I don't think. No, I don't. I was just dang it. Let's think. What water type Pokemon are around here? I gotta go, I gotta go hunting before I go take on Jasmine. What are you? You're adorable! Pokemon. Kind of like Snow Run. Okay. That is so cool. But it's not a water type though. I need a water type. Wait, what? I actually went all the way over to Mahogany Town and looked for a Pokemon that'll help me swim. And I found the beta version of Sneasel. It's literally a freaking weasel. It's adorable. Fuck it one later. I'm kind of I'm trying to find someone that can help me surf. Turn out Squeaky can learn to surf. There you go, heal, and now we, got, we can go to all of mine. Yay. Actually, while we're here, we might as well go take on uh, Lake of Rage. Look at a giant magic harp! I'm going to save. Go. Yo, that's your little shiny Gyarados! Man! It wasn't gonna be red, it was gonna be like a, me a metallic chrome blue? I like this! I like this better than the red Gyarados! I really do! I don't know why they didn't use this one. This thing was so badass! I love it! Got it, second attempt. There's 
honestly, this version is the shiny version. It actually looks better than the red one, because the red one's kind of overplayed. But this one here looks so cool. And I always name my Gyarados after another one of my favorite YouTubers. Because one of his favorite Pokemon is Gyarados. And it's just awesome like he is. So... If y'all don't know who DA Games is, I don't. You must be living under a rock. Got the red scale. Might as well talk to some Lance. I can't fly yet, so I can't really fly. The scratch, leer, quick attack, and surf. How does one have a level 10 Gyarados? Well, since we uh, now have Will Ryan in the PC, I'll go ahead and swap Squeaku for that. We'll go take on uh, Team Rocket, and then we'll go take on Chuck and end up the episode there. <clears throat> but yeah, I need to go ahead and teach him Surf, because that way it's a lot easier. We need to really just get- we need to get rid of Leer. I'll get rid of Thrash later, so... I was busy getting a shiny Dragonite out- not Dragonite. Gyarados out of my PC. You saw nothing, you hear me? You snitch? And I'll have a beadroll come and shove a stinger where the sun don't shine. Hey, other me, go ahead and speed through this, alright? Y'all know, you know it's already gonna be, alright? You know, that blue shiny Gyarados is even cooler than the red shiny. So the red shiny is kind of been overplayed, it needed a new color. Think I care? I'll take that. I have a potion, nugget, and not a chicken kind. Hey, Lance. Thank you. Head to the, to the venom, to the spinner, to the venonat. I know the passwords are. I was go for the redhead first because she's easy to take down. The ones right here was slow moving and dim way. Slow moving like a snail, okay? I'll take this. And this. Thank you. Larry Moe and Curly's reincarnations. Doesn't take too long at all, to be honest. It's just very slow but very chill. Uh, his name is Lance. Uh huh. Well, it's true. By the way, you should never push a lady. 
freaking jerk. Hey, behind you. Uh, Giovanni is no longer leader of Team Rocket in this universe. I'm sorry. We kind of went off to go do Rainbow Rocket, and then that failed, and now we try to take our Pokestops. You're so full of Taurus poop, I cannot really believe this, because you're just so stupid. Thanks, Murkrow. Someone give that Murkrow a poppin for being such a good worker. Yada yada yada, we already know all this crap. So let's go ahead and just take y'all out and not to dinner. I oh! Hello, Murkrow. I like this design better than I do the original because its hat is more like a witch hat. I love it. But what I'm saying is, time to take y'all out and not to dinner because I don't have time for that. Yo! Beta Electra looks kind of happy. I mean, happier than normal. Darn it. Thank you for a waterfall. Or whirlpool, I mean. Let's go take on, uh... I'll play the gym's open over, he over here. I still need to go get Fly and, uh, work on the Olive Eye and stuff. So I'll go take down Lance real not Lance, Price real quick. And then we'll head on over to Olive Eye. This won't take long at all. Gym's out of order? Don't care. Alright, Price. This won't take long at all. I've already taken down Morty. And I don't care if these gyms aren't in order. Who really gives a care? Warwolf. Such so a evolved form of uh that little cutie I got. Awesome. Thank you for the badge. I know I'll get the Team Rocket event trigger, but we still need to go to Olivine. We won't yet, huh? I'm guessing because I did it out of order, and we're not really able to go to um, Blackthorn yet. It won't. It won't activate just yet. Why does that trio's beta sprite look so angry? to Olivine and get all that stuff ready for the next episode. I was actually going to get a Rattata or a Raticate because it can learn Surf, but I decided no. I don't like using them and just no thank you. Well, we need to save up here and heal and we didn't really do much right now, so I think we should go on and take out the lighthouse before we end off the episode. Because I, I want to get a good episode in, because I haven't been recording for a while, did my hiatus. So, I want to get back in the swing of things and make some really awesome content for y'all. And uh, another Pokemon game I'm getting ready to play is The Whooper That Saved Christmas. 
Apparently it's a Nuzlocke type of game, and we all know I hate doing Nuzlocke. Hoo hoo! So I guess you're the supposed to the supposed to be the, uh, other evolution of um Hoot Hoot, like the Beta Knocked Owl. Well, kind of cool though. I like Knocked Owl and I like Hoot Hoot, but I didn't know that Hoo Hoo was its original name. Awesome! Now we got a sparkly rapid ash or ponytail. I mean, sorry, I, got, I jumped the gun there. Yeah, well, Jasmine's a skill type. Yeah, it's kind of funny how Meryl's originally supposed to be pink instead of blue. Oh, come on! See how his arms are like that? That's actually the original sprite! I'm glad the creator decided to put in all the original sprites for this, because, to be honest, the censorship they did back over in uh, the original Crystal was kind of stupid. Hey, Jasmine! Uh huh. Of course, I'll go get it for you. Well, I'm finally glad we got our Gyarados, so go ahead and start. Sunmola! What are you? You're adorable! Oh, I forgot to heal. Gosh dang it. You kind of look like the, like, look like the pre evolution of course. Alright, we made it, so we're going to end off right here. Next episode is definitely going to be Jasmine and Chuck, because we already took down Price. And we're definitely going to be doing the uh, Team Rocket full crap, so. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Y'all know what to do. Hit that like button with the big ol' bibbity bobbity boop. And I'm going to get my Pokemon ready to take on Big Tough and Bur Burly in here. We also got to go take on Yeezy. So, <laughs> there's that. Do <laughs> not call my friends. Oh, I think I gotta go up here and wait. <laughs>